We all know about Crypto Land, the island where a bunch of crypto bros are gonna go hang out with this guy. But what a lot of people don't know is that there was going to be a Crypto Land game. That's right, today we're gonna to be talking about Cryptoland.io, the game slash NFT project slash crypto scam that came out of this era of crypto gaming, and we're gonna see where it is today. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the hit that notification bell, it really helps. Cryptoland.io was a project that was tied to the XRP cryptocurrency. And I want to go over everything that they promised to be and how they, of course, failed and never released. Now, if we go to Cryptoland.io, we can see this like Zeus looking dude who kind of looks like he's made of AI art. And there's a couple buttons. There's a view trailer and there's community. Now, of course, I have to watch the trailer. And even islands that float high above the <laughs> What's with this weird music? If, it feels like a video I'd watch when joining Scientology. So. The people who make these games, these like crypto games, do they really think that enough people are so into crypto and so into like NFTs and all this stuff that they'll want everything named like Crypto Land, Cryptopians, Cryptology? Like, there, it's so little creativity. It's mind blowing. And all the art is AI. I don't know. I don't know who they paid to do his voice acting, <laughs> but it's all like really low effort. A new adventure awaits. Kingdoms will compete. Mine, steel, forge. Fight. Conquer. If you haven't guessed already, by the way, yes, all of these like images they're showing, all the characters, they're all NFTs. Of course there are. There's like 10,000 of them. We'll get into that. Crypto land coming soon. All right. Well, as you might have guessed, this game never came out. So exploring this site a little more, we can get a little bit of details on what is actually going on here. It says own a digital game piece in a captivating new world. Each Kryptonian avatar digital game piece DGP belongs to a divergent class and subclass in crypto land society. All are endowed with their own purpose and strategy for domination. So like I said, NFTs. They have like classes associated with them, but there's there's no gameplay. You know, there's been no gameplay at all shown. It's just own these things, earn because it's crypto, and that's that's it. I mean, that's it's the same thing that all of these crypto NFT games shill. Forge, trade, or steal weapons and armor to assist in your quest for glory and riches. Again, doesn't mean anything because there is no game. Claim your territory, there's plots of land that you can own, but it's been a year since this project was talked about and it doesn't really seem like there's any chatter about it now, so I figured why not check out the community part of this website. And this is where things start to get really, really strange. So when you go to the community aspect of this site, it brings you to basically a blog where there seems to be one dude whose name is King Pi, who seems to be messaging over and over about the crypto land token and XRP. He just keeps saying it's pretty clear how over it is. There's enough education content on my profile to make six to seven figure trades this cycle. Place your bets, speculators. King Pi is going on stealth mode. And then he posts how much the token is worth. Now, if I scroll down, it seems it's just King Pi saying the same thing over and over, just with different images. This one showing the crypto total market cap. This one showing the XRP price. This one over here is showing the same thing, all again with the same text. And there's maybe one or two people commenting on his posts, if any at all. But if I scroll down enough, there seems to be posts that are one or two weeks old that do have a couple of people commenting, all just talking general crypto jargon. But there's no one, not even King Pi himself, talking about the crypto land game. They seem to have just completely shelved the whole idea, put it on the back burner, and now they're just hyping up the XRP coin. Digging a little deeper on the site, there seems to be about 465 total users. And if I go to any of these other tabs like Jobs or Cryptoland TV or anything like this, there's just nothing there at all. It's just an, a blank empty space. So I figured if there was going to be activity, it would be on the forum. So I click on forum and it's dead. There's nothing. There's one post under strategy, one post under general, and one post under beginner's chat and getting started. But besides that, zero, zero topics anywhere. If websites could feel liminal, this is a prime example. There was a communities tab that have a couple of posts, but as you can see here, it seems like all these posts are just a little bit botted. But I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, is the island crypto land and the game crypto land tied together? Are these made by the same people? And the answer is 
Probably not. So the whole Cryptoland Island project was created by Maxim Oliver and Helena Lopez, who have scrubbed their existence from the internet ever since they first proposed the island idea. But if we go to the team page on Cryptoland.io, it says that their team consists of... No one. Nobody. There is no one here. No names, no faces, nothing. It's completely blank. So are these two projects tied together? Probably not, but there's literally no way to tell. There is no one here. This whole thing feels like it's just fake AI art, botted replies. It seems like this whole thing was almost set up by a machine, that there was no person ever behind this at all. So while researching for this topic, I actually was able to find who created the Cryptoland.io game. And on Twitter, he goes by Crypto Corey. He put out a tweet back in February of 2023 saying, as many of you are aware, over the last year, I've been developing a staking game on the XRPL blockchain. I've put my heart and soul into this creation of this game with the intent to bring an exciting new pay to earn to the XRP holder community. Please help support our growth by following our official Twitter account below. I'd like to personally invite all of you to be a part of the Cryptoland journey. Now, Crypto Corey, as you might expect, doesn't really talk about the Cryptoland game anymore, but he does still talk about XRP and the crypto token and all the things that he's done over the past couple of years when it comes to creating a social community site for crypto, giving people airdrops and loot boxes and all the typical crypto stuff, but not much about the game or any of the functionality that was promised with it, any of the game play besides just staking your claims and betting on crypto. But that leads us to one other individual. If you remember when we were looking at the community posts on the website, there was only one guy who was posting and his name was King Pi. Now I did some research to try and find King Pi and who it was to see if Crypto Corey and King Pi were the same individual, but it looks like King Pi is a separate person who is just obsessed with Cryptoland. He has his own YouTube channel called King Pie of Cryptoland, where he uploads pretty regularly, about once every two weeks, and I have to show you his videos. Checking the stats. Sit down, we ain't got no money. Y'all need to put in on Whale call. Whale call, let's go, whales. So it looks like King Pie does actually have access to the game here, which is way more than I could get. But it looks like the game is just a menu where you can transfer your XRP tokens into Cryptoland tokens. So on one screen here, you can check your balance of Cryptoland tokens. There's another screen here where you can buy loot boxes or check your NFTs. But it looks like mostly what King Pie does in these videos is he checks the stats of XRP, checks the stats of Cryptoland tokens, and then just spends money. It's very strange and very cult-like, but it seems like these two people are really the only two talking about this whole project. Please, if somebody got a better game, a better system, a better setup, please let me know. And I'm gonna go over there and King Pie up over there too. All right, well, there's, there's social media tags in the bottom, right? Facebook, Twitter, huh? Those don't work either. Okay, so when I was looking at the R team page of Cryptoland, I noticed that not only does it say copyright 2022 instead of 2023, but the social media buttons over here that don't work are different. If I go to the website now, it says copyright 2023, the R team button is gone completely, and the social medias are different. Now we don't have LinkedIn and we have Instagram instead. And when I go to the Instagram, it's just pictures of all the AI art that they've shown on all of their other social medias. But there are two pages on the website that actually do work. And those pages are the gameplay page and the roadmap page. So let's see what they have to offer. Under gameplay, they talk about the DGPs, they talk about the XRP ledger, how many plots of land they'll have, the avatars, the NFT avatars, there's 10,000 of those. The tokens, and in this case there is one token for this game, and it's crypto, and it goes off of XRP, which is just another cryptocurrency similar to Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then they talk about playing the game, and this is where things get really weird, because it says, each of the in-game actions will be executed via smart contracts. As a staking game, there are in-game actions that can be performed in our platform as we have created digital game pieces to represent them in the game. This will allow owners to buy and or sell DGPs while they are actively involved in game contracts. When a contract is over, the reward for that contract will go to the community member who owns the DGP at the time of the completion of the contract. So the actual gameplay that they're talking about here doesn't seem to be like a game like me and you would think. It seems like the game, quote unquote, is just buying these game pieces, 
staking your claim on like plots of land that aren't real. They're just like different NFTs and crypto things. And that's the game. The game is just trying to own as many of these things as possible and having little icons and pictures tied to what you own. It says each of the 20,000 plots of land has one in-game action called a rent collection. Landowners collect rent from the tenant farmers living on their land. The amount of rent collected daily is dependent on the graded level of the land. This action has a per day cost associated with it. More details on this will be released when the game action is activated. So basically you're farming crypto, li literally farming crypto in this game, and it just gets you more tokens and more points towards the crypto token cryptocurrency. So like I said, this game or this gamified version of farming for crypto never did release, but they do have a full 54 page guide on how to play the game. If you want to uh, read through this and look at some of this terrible AI art, you can go ahead and do that. But with that being said, let's look at their roadmap to see exactly what they plan on doing, because hey, Maybe this game will still come out. Maybe I'm, I'm being too judgy. They only announced it a year ago. Maybe they're still working on it. So in February 28th, 2023, there was a special event. And then another one in March. And then another one in April. And then another one in May. And then on June 1st, 2023, their coin minted. And then since June 1st, 2023, everything is to be announced. There has been nothing. There was supposed to be loot boxes, thieving and foraging, mining and rent, special event raffles, none of it came to fruition. It seems like this game, this whole plan lasted about five months before it went under, which seems pretty typical and familiar at this point. So guys, I was actually able to find their Twitter at Cryptoland Game. So we can see here Mint almost sold out. Guys, we better jump on this, almost sold out. But if we scroll down, September 8th, 2023 was their last post, and it's just another one of these, these pieces of AI art, and it seems like that's all they ever posted here. So I was wondering if there were any comments on these posts, and on the most recent one, there is one, and it says, is this game still working? And there's a reply saying, no, it's a scam. There we go. There was a huge influx of crypto and NFT scams in 2022, 2023, and a lot of them took the form of games or supposed game projects. But unfortunately, these things are still pretty rampant even today. XRP, the cryptocurrency that Cryptoland runs off of, is still wildly popular today, and people are still making projects like this to try and draw more people in, buy more of the cryptocurrency, and jack up the price. It's all a scam to try and get you to buy the either the NFT NFTs or the cryptocurrency in order to make the original owners more rich. And that's exactly what this was planning to be. Now, one of the worst parts of the Cryptoland.io scam here is that a lot of people did actually buy into this game and they were hoping that it would come out and that they could earn XRP and therefore earn money off of this game. And it seems like some people were actually able to start playing the initial version of this project and they did mine some XRP coin from it, but they were not able to withdraw any of their earnings, meaning that anyone who played this this initial test of the game and mined and earned some coin, they weren't able to then withdraw it. So the company who made this game just took it all for themselves. And that's really the point I'm trying to drive home here with these NFT and crypto games. It's so much of a scam that the company is just running. They're running with the money they earned. They're shutting down the project immediately as soon as they get some cash. And that's what you have to be careful of. Cryptocurrency, things like XRP and Bitcoin and Ethereum can make people some real money, but you have to be careful with how you earn it and what you do with it so you don't get scammed by projects like Cryptoland.io. But that's all I've got for you today. I'll see you all in the next one.